sort of last year before before COVID hit, before lockdown. I had the absolute best team in the world in what in my unit at the airport in one of the restaurants. Yeah. And we were a team of all different abilities, strengths, personalities. But that team together absolutely made sure we hit our targets and we overachieved targets, we overachieved audit scores. And it's all about having the right team and the trust in that team to do a good job. Well, we had to meet targets too in debt recovery, but the only way we could meet them targets were because we was all split up into like teams. So, for example, if there was 30 of us, we'd be split into three or four different teams. Yeah. To work together. So at the end of the month, you know, our managers would ask us, you know, what have you collected this month or, you know, what have you written off or, you know, there's different, there's different categories in every job, but I'm just giving you an example of what I used to do. So no, if people, good month, people might have gone all bankrupt that month. So I've not recovered anything. <laughs> our team's not recovered anything, you know, so. Yeah. Anybody else, anybody else want to share any good experiences of teamwork? Well, I can share most of the moment staying behind a bar and a waiter, like somebody hosting and splitting in sections. Mm-hmm. Go. It is important because sometimes a barman he can hit get hit by orders, and if someone jump and give him a hand to working as a team, so it will provide a better customer service. Sometimes, like a person who's doing the some section, his section is overloaded when other waiter have not that much customers, and here it's important to be as a team and give a support to oh. waiter if his section is full. So, yes, in the restaurant business, if you are not working as a team, you can't provide a good customer service. Yeah, absolutely spot on, and I think, and I think that probably is in a lot of industries as well. That if you're not a team and you don't work well as a team, then it's not going to always work to the best that it can. And a company reputation suffer from that, after? Absolutely, yeah. So when I talked before about everybody being different and not being all the same people, help. This is where we're going to sort of look at understanding us and how we work. So if everybody's got their pen and paper, so we need a grid a bit like this with these. Oh, is this the personality thing? Personality um, test. Yeah. So we're going to need a grid of four with the letters L, M, H, and O. Right. Okay. So a grid of four with L, M, H, O, yeah? L, M, H, O, yeah. Um. because I'm going to ask for the results at the end. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, yeah, ready. Right, amazing. So, I'm going to share my screen again. <coughs> so, on the screen you'll see a whole list of words yeah yeah (laughs) so what i want you to do i don't want you to overthink this okay so the first word is forceful so if you think you're a forceful person you need to put a little line in your l column if you're not you don't put anything next one business like are you business like if you think you are you put a little no a little tick or whatever in the o column what does the l l m h o mean we're gonna get all that at the end okay so we go through all of these words and at the end we will or we should be more dominant with one letter okay Now, it doesn't matter if you're an L, an M, an H or an O because we need all types of these people in a team. Yeah, so be brutally honest. 
don't overthink it. So as you're going through, are you exact? If you think, no, I'm not, then just don't put anything. Are you excitable and straight away you think, yes, we're going to mark that okay? So I'll leave this up and I'll give you five, ten minutes or however long to do it. And then we'll go through the results, okay? If you just want to turn your cameras off or whatever while you're doing it, that's absolutely fine. Carly, are we just doing a tally or do we have to put the actual word of the just, subject? Just a tally. Okay. And the letters are at the side. If, so if you were forceful, the, the, the letter L is at the side. Yes. Right. right. Okay. Got it. Have fun. It all might right. like end up looking like that at the end. And then we add them all up. All right. Yep. So we put as many as we can, all right? Yeah. Only if you think that trait relates to you, though. Ah, uh, all right. Thanks. No problem. So you give other people a few minutes, to be fair. Keep the screen up. No. Is anybody not finished to keep screen up? Yeah. All, yeah. all good, Carly. Yeah. I'm going to keep silence as everybody's yeah. finished. To see how many we have for each letter, please. I've got. Yeah. I'm going to Done it. up all the ticks to find out what you've got yeah, for yeah. each letter. Don't tell me what you are yet. Don't tell right, me what you are yet. You are an L. So raise, raise your hand, hand please. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Who's so the an L? Re reaction. The most. You mean yeah? Yeah, who has the most in there? So one, two. Yeah. So who has the most in there? Okay. Thank you. Is anybody yeah. at all? You can take it down now. Of course. <laughs> now we're going to reveal which animal right. this is. Oh, Mr. Yeah. of H. Yeah. Can you do me a favour? Can yeah. you just look through if there's an mRNA? That you haven't chosen, in which one would no, be more likely? Yeah, I've chosen them all. Oh, right, okay. So you're being, you're being an L and an H, an M and an H. Yeah. Okay, but we'll go through the descriptions. So you can decide which ones more suit So what animal am I? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we don't. I think we only had one L out there, so a lion, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're yeah. a lion, you have things that actually they're not that animal, they're another animal. Oh, I have to believe, you know what I said? I've got 14 M and 14 H. Going through. So if I, I can be any of them too. So what? I'd be more of a horse. More of a horse. <laughs> I would say I've got 12M and 17H, but I, I think I, I would. So, really interesting. if you just want to take so screen a screenshot, you know, of the words, Yeah. take one now. Right. I'm yeah. Give me a moment. Oh, I think, uh, right, okay, done. I've taken one. Yeah. Everybody else got one? Yep. Do you want one? I think so, yeah. yeah. Yes, I have. I have. Okay, so I might just do it again. I think it's twenty nine seconds. So it's really interesting. Okay, so when I did this, I was a an H a horse. Okay, but my partner will probably tell us I'm something completely different. So get a I don't know your partner, a brother, a sister, a friend. So give them them words and get them to do it on your behalf and see if they come up with the same as you. I was just thinking I was going to get my daughters to do it. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone would like to do that, like 
in the next couple of days and then share in the group in the morning if we get anything different that would be really interesting if i ask my kids i know how it will come it will be l <laughs> So it, it's it's good to get other people's perceptions, isn't it, of what we they think of us compared to what what we think of ourselves. But after looking at all the different animals, yeah, why do you think it's so important to have all the different animals in one team? Obviously, the lion will lead a team. Mm -hmm. All just so it was steering with big eyes on the team. <laughs> Horses will working and monkey will jumping around. So try and get some, are, some relatives, understanding partners, other people friends, and let's see and yourself what they think. in a team. Yeah, and we'll to see understand what other people then work. In the next couple of to pass on your see if anyone's done um, what the results opinion were. of how you work so other people okay, work in that Okay, so room. examples um, of effective teamwork. It's okay, good to work so, in a, a team because that's... Some of the well, that's first just an opinion. I have are um, holding group sessions, so um, my point everybody view, feels involved as part of the team. Maybe that has its advantages and trust, its disadvantages. I don't think that's to have a great team. We should yeah, have not trust. just manager to to team member. It needs to be team member, team member, manager to. There just needs to be trust all round and willingness to share expertise. So. I'm sure everybody can think of a manager or a team leader or a team member at some point where they don't want to share their knowledge with anybody yeah, else. Yeah, they think, think, yeah. yeah, because they think knowledge is power and actually it couldn't be further from the truth. So if you're the only person who can do a task and you never show anybody else how to do it or develop mm -hmm. anybody else, are you ever going to develop yourself and go further? There is the oh. Marley Minus point as well. For example, if something happening and you need urgently go away, so how? Then does that mean nobody can do your job? Mm -hmm. But if you teach someone, so you always have someone to scour your back. Yeah. And also sometimes you can miss at some point. And if other person who have the same level of knowledge as you, he can put on. For example, like an audit, it's good. If everyone know, absolutely, yeah. So, because it's too many tasks, and sometimes for one person, it's a way too much need to do. So, yeah, it's good when someone's know. And you teach and share experiences, then you move on. Yeah, absolutely. This uh, willingness to share expertise, um, if it doesn't happen, um, it actually can be counts very counts productive. Absolutely. I found um, quite a lot of people, and we have a term for this where we, we're in this part of the country, we call it protectionist. Right. Because people are frightened of losing their jobs. So they will not share information about a certain subject because they don't want to lose their job or they think someone else will do it better than them. And I think if COVID's taught us anything, that couldn't be further from the truth, could it? Oh, has it, has it taught us anything? Uh, do you think it has? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it's taught us lots. For sure. Well, I mean, out there when I go out there, I don't think it has. Do you know, for me, my biggest learning is probably switching off when I come home from work, um, not being on my phone at 6 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock at night, checking emails or worrying about people. It's about you need a, a really good balance. Yeah. Yeah, so I probably learned quite a lot over the past year, but that's going off topic anyway, isn't it? So, um, complement each other. Why do we think it's important to complement each other as part of a team? Give the other <laughs> Yeah. You let your team to work more harder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give people confidence as well when you compliment them. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Well, if you, you, you may either say, oh, yeah, you're a good worker, blah, 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 or actually how you work together. Is that yeah. how you want compliment? Make them more optimistic. So, yeah, it could be how you work together, but also, like, if you're part of the team and your team member has done something really good or, or has helped you, for me, uh, it's about, like, 
do you know what? Thank you for doing that because without you helping me or showing me, I would never have been able to do it. Yeah, sometimes just a simple thank you goes a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, it boosts morale too. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. In be open to suggestions. Um, you know, if someone says you do it this way, however, if you did it this way, it could save time or it could be more more efficient. Um. I think that's a a good quality to have in part of a team as well. Um, sometimes people can get defensive about things, which is a natural reaction um, to some people, but it's just having that open mind, isn't it? And I think that's something I've learned over the years as mm. well, is not being defensive. Someone's just trying to help. You have to be open-minded in today's world. Yeah, Absolutely. And then rise and fall together. So if we have a setback, it's all about building each other up, isn't it? Getting back on, getting back on with it to to do what we do as a team. Well, that kind of depends on the uh, people you're with as well. I would say some of the um, people I've worked with over the years are more me, 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 and I'm not going to tell you, you know, um, you know, they, they'd rather throw you under the bus and take the take the fall themselves. And I think, yeah. unfortunately, we're always going to have that in a team, aren't we? We'll yeah. always be. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that everyone's on that, but I'm a good team. Yeah. It's, it, it, there are you do come across that. I don't, I'm not saying that it's every place you work, but no, no, it's, it's, there are people out there. And they're very rare. I, I would hope they're very rare, but they're more. I'm. A, I'm not gonna tell you what you need to know because then you know I'm not gonna have the control or power. And you know I'm gonna. It's me, me, me first. I'm first. I'm you know. Yes sir. No. You know. Yes sir. Yes sir. You know that kind of person who's well. Put it bluntly, an arsenic of brown. You know, <laughs> yeah, um, but that's that kind of person. Well, speaking of recent experience from last year, this I've come across. You know, and he was one of the uh, supervisors. He was a young fella, and tried to guide and give him, you know, a bit of uh, advice and that, and he just didn't listen and did his own thing and. Um, you know, it, it, it ended up bad for him, basically. Yeah. Because he was enemies, and um, basically, they he messed up, and everyone jumped on and threw him under the bus. So basically, it, it, they they did his own reverse the situation, basically. So he he didn't come in and get the respect of the team to work with the team. It was his way or no way. It's when he um, it's when he gets someone like that in the team. is when. It creates problems, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he was. He was always. I know he was young, but you know there, there was us. There was other young guys who were a lot better. They they didn't put themselves first. They looked out for the team and the, you know. Um, but he just seemed to want to get ahead. Like a couple of times, I was down to do a couple of courses like supervisors and first aid. And he turned around and told me, oh, no, no, the courses are full, you ain't going to get on them, they do, blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing, the following week, I had the manager on the phone to me, why weren't you at the course, two providers course, why weren't you at the first aid course? I was like, well, um, you were booked on there, you were meant to come. I was like, well, hold up a minute. And I explained to him what was said to me. And, uh, you know, and it's... It, I don't know what to, I think maybe, um, you know, we're looking at the situation, he, he's, the guy was a bit, I think he was accused of bullying. Right. Um, and uh, I think it was, um, you know, he, he it may have been, he wasn't suitable for the job, but, you know, you, you, unless you actually do the job, you you don't know if you say it will be. No, you, you don't. Know, and that's, you for a manager. that's really not a very nice thing to do, is it? Or go through as a person that you've been, you know, you've been told the courses are full, but in fact, 
the wounds and he, he just didn't mm. obviously want you to be yeah. there for whatever reason. I've been in a situation like that too where when I was working in Deco, this manager, I don't know why, why he was like that with me, but he gave me this impression that he didn't like me and then he'd avoid me putting on, me on you know, extra courses and stuff. But mm. then the supervisor used to always do He was the manager, uh -huh. but then the lady supervisor, that she was very nice and she used to always add me to it because she knew that he hasn't. But then there was other certain things that he was doing with me. So I just got into one side one day. I said, look, I said, I know you don't like me. I've got authority to do this, do that, do that. If you don't like it, you take it with HR. Yeah, don't obstruct my job. Yeah, and when I said that to him, he was a bit shocked because uh, I am a bit honest and direct person. Who would never have guessed? <laughs> no, but no, Marlon, the thing is, I don't let people walk over me, and I don't, and I do it, and I don't, and I, and I look after people around me too. Oh, if it's, I'm a, working, it's a good a trait to have. It really is. is. I can't. I can't see people getting mistreated. That's anyone, everyone, you know. Yeah. I used to work with a guy who had a leg amputated, yeah? Because he used to come to work, I used to have his chair and everything ready for him in the morning. People used to look at me and say, oh, why are you doing that? He's disabled. And one day I just, well, I was going to flip out one of these person. And the, the only reason I used to do it is I, I because I've got that, that, that heart, you know. I don't want him to come in and start adjusting his chair and stuff. Just because he used to sit next to me and he used to, Make sure his chair and everything's ready for him, you know, because he, bless him, he's coming on his crutches or wheelchair. It's to take him time to come off his wheelchair or his crutches and sit on the office chair and do his job. So just because I used to do that, people used to laugh at me and I said, well, carry on laughing. Well, I'm going to I'd rather have someone like you and my team who would do that for people than others that wouldn't. So, yeah. Yeah. But this conversation's actually bringing us on nicely to to problems yeah. with working in a team so you need to take screenshots of these then now you can if i go back you can this will sort of give you a boost about communication and stuff yeah. for example yeah, so yeah. just give me a minute have i got that yeah i've got that so next one's fine yeah, yeah. Okay, so problems. What problems can it cause in a team? Uh, friction. Sorry. Friction, yeah. Dishonesty. Is that what you said as well, Sheila? Sorry. Dishonesty. Dishonesty, yeah. And stabbing. Like Stress. Stress. Sorry, Kimberly, what did you say? Lack of confidence. Lack of confidence. Miscommunication. It's yeah. good as well. Because if you take Kimberly's point, if you're not a very confident person and you're in a group with very, very confident people, what could happen? Yeah, you get You'll more become the yeah. You yeah. can become demoralised. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've looked for uh, uh, positions and... Uh, I no, no, if you come if you come across a person like that, you start helping him and you know yeah. edging him on so he does get involved in that team. You would like yeah. to think, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. that would be the yeah. idea. Yeah. Would be oh, I would do. It rarely happens. <laughs> what about what what other examples do we have? Communication. So how can communication cause a problem in teamwork? Language. Too many mm -hmm. people talking. Yeah. People come up with different views at the same time. Right. It's confusing. Or listening. Yeah. Not passing on messages and uh, like communicating that way, so somebody could get the job to like not do the job correctly. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Incorrect information. Mm-hmm. Overall, teamwork is working like right. well, you look at this. What you've got, got in front of me, what? Um, six arrows, so you have to make sure them six arrows are working together in one, you know, in one area. You know, it's not just, you can't just give one person in team, or you know, you do this, and if he's not passing that information on to other team members, then you're going to get a lot of miscommunication, and probably the job's not going to get done right, is it? Yeah. But then again, it all comes into a uh, Personality as well, the different people's personalities. 
more than a truck would have a job like that. But, you know, in the team, you are going to get that, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. You can't just judge people and, uh, you know, by, well, colour, race or anything, you know. You have to work in a team. And if you see a person that's feeling a bit shy or, you know, not feeling confident, you would help that person and make sure, you know, he gets involved in the team. Yeah, you'd love to think that, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't know why exactly what really, they're uh, thinking on it. No. But it depends on the on the uh, team and the and the um, company as well, I think. How they go about the... Um... I think in my point of view, like all, most of the issues and problems, they are come from a manager, obviously. So a manager, he set a behavior of his team. So if a manager acting nasty, so obviously most of the time what's happening, a team start to follow a manager behavior. But if a manager is a friendly and organized people working as a one team, as a one family, then it can prevent and avoid a lot of problems and issues in a team. But if you've got somebody who's disgruntled, they can then spread that with everybody else. It might not have to be a manager, it could just be somebody working with you who's really upset, had enough of the job, and then just yeah, poisons I'm, everybody. I'm, I know that like, there's someone who's a team, like, but I'm saying that a manager that is both like a, a leader who set a character, like a way how a team is going to work and run, because obviously a one person will be unable to ruin all team if it's organized by manager really in a nice and smooth way because I have experience working with a, in the same company but for different managers and obviously I've been working with the people for one manager and I've seen the attitude how it went and when we move with the same person to a different manager we got in a different team and I've seen how that person changed and become more keen and will like become more friendly if like when we've been working for another manager, we can't get on. It's because, like, the manager said the attitude in the team. Yes, I agree, Christina, entirely. Absolutely, 100%, Christina. Yep. Well, again, I think it basically goes back to um, the manager and uh, if they can actually do the job, because you, I'm... Uh, Myself and I'm sure some of you guys have come across managers who are totally rubbish at the job. The yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Couldn't really have been put into management position. No. Um, and they, they basically cause problems and wreck the job, make you um, miserable and want to leave the job. But um, I think it mainly comes down to that if they've had the proper training or. You know, they're, if they're suitable to be management. You know, and that's basically what it comes down to. And if, if you've got a good manager, then you he brings a team on, you know. Um, and it, it makes things better. Everyone push comes together and pushes each other on due to the good manager, you know. So that's my view. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm very glad carried this conversation on why my laptop dies. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm on my phone, I'm just trying to bring my laptop back to life, but I, I, I'm loving the conversation, so well done. If this cuts out when I join back in on my laptop, will everyone just use the link to dial back in again, please? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm here. It happened to me last night when I was supposed to be like, and I had to do it again. Hello, I think she's gone. I think we've lost her. I'm back, I'm back. Mm. My laptop's about eight years old. I think I need to just bite the bullet and get a new one. <laughs> Right, let's get back to where we were. Sorry about 
Okay, so is everybody confident on the questions I sent that we could list some problems that would arise in teamwork? You were on them apples, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yep. The arrow diagram, yeah? Yeah. You sending that via email to us now? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. So that second one, Carly, with the pictures of the groups, what, what, when they actually, you know, the, um, yeah, that's the one. With the complimenting and what, uh, so the second month's compliment. So um, working as a team, having team meetings, complimenting each other, building people up, mm, trust, mm. sharing experiences and ideas. So what's so the first one's building people up, is it? With with the one with the two figures with the key in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that could be that one. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out what. Um, so, is it just to give your give to give examples of what it could be, or is there a specific? Um, so, one of the questions, Jonathan, will be to give examples of effective teamwork. So, anything we've discussed could be holding group sessions, trust, willingness to share experiences, building people up. Knowledge. Open to suggestions. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna, uh, understood. I'm just looking. I just wondered if if the things had specific reason for you know if they. We're doing this now. This uh, this number one thing, yeah. Yeah. What? So you want us to put what something in there? So again, when we get the questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. It'll, it'll ask you for problems of teamwork. So, you know, we said communication. Yeah. What else did we say? Confrontations. Confrontation. Yeah. Because I've I've worked with some managers. Some bad managers manager, who bad team with difference of opinion. Deliberately, de deliberately. He, Lack could of communication both. by others in your team, so you could feel yeah, isolated. Is, yeah, I understand um, that. That only problem chair as number one communication. That doesn't make sense at all because it can be like a good communication can be really effective and good uh, uh, teamwork. No. But if it just says communication, that didn't actually make sense at all because communication can be good for teamwork. No, it absolutely can, and communication is is the key to teamwork. Yeah. But if we think of communication is in problems yeah. within the team, then that's what we're looking at. So how poor communication can cause problems in a team. Yes. Yeah, I understand that, but it just didn't say it's like a poor communication or miscommunication or lack of communication. I mean, just so any of them, yeah. Any oh, of that's them. That's why it says communication. So I've just put another one on there, which says favoritism. So has then how can favoritism be a problem? Well, if you're working in a team and you and there's just one one favorite person, yeah, the the team just sitting on one side doing nothing, twiddling the fingers, that's favoritism, isn't it? Yeah. Why is it really important that we use the phonetic alphabet if we're working aviation? We've already covered because this everybody one. uses it within aviation. They understand exactly what it means. It's Absolutely. a universal tool. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's means. yeah, and it's clear and easy to understand, isn't it? So there's less risk of mistakes happening. They are trained for that as well. So. Yeah, and when, when might we use TANI systems? Announce flights and yeah. lost people, lost baggages, dangerous baggages left around the airport. Yeah, brilliant. You're on mute, Kimberly. I've agreed to do loads of things with the kids and like then the next day look what you said yeah yeah <laughs> and i'm probably guilty of that because 
my son's nearly six and he's just found Roblox or whatever it's called that <laughs> game. And he'll be like, Mom, do you want to come and see my house? Or what? Do you want? And I'm like, uh-huh. and I'm just sitting there like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I think actually I should probably pay more attention because to him it's probably the most important thing ever in the world. And probably you didn't understand what, what he be said. He said, no, it's a dog. No <laughs> idea about the game, how it works. And I'm like, ah, which cute is that? <laughs> I said, oh, okay. like my chair. <laughs> I can't understand. It just saw the whole screen of cubes for me. <laughs> but yeah, you know, oh, yeah. Sometimes we don't, we don't listen to our kids. But if you look overall, we have to listen to our kids, don't we, sometimes? Because no, but unfortunately, sometimes adults as well, they are well, yeah. not listening because they're like, you're sharing information and obviously. I'm not going to mention. I had to phone a company one day for my mother um, regarding her energy bill and the other person, I know he was listening, he didn't even take any notes, he didn't t- I know he didn't, so a few days later when I phoned up, again, uh, there was nothing there, and so I know he didn't listen to me, I know he didn't log anything down, but he's just not given very good customer service, has he? And I think as well, when we're busy... So I can be sat at my desk at work and I can be typing. I'm trying to think of this. I'm trying to think of that. Someone will come and talk to me and I'll be like, "Mm -hmm." and then I was like, I'm really sorry. I've actually got no idea what you just said there. Kind of, I'm switching off from the computer and listening to you now. And I think everybody does that or is not deliberately, but everybody has an aspect of that sometimes. With our kids, we don't do it deliberately. No, no, not at all. We, everyone listens to their kids, but you have an idea. For an example, my 16-year-old, for the last two weeks, three weeks, she's been saying, I really like the iPhone 12. Now, I know she really likes the <laughs> iPhone 12, but I know it's also costing going to cost me about six, £700. Pounds. Yeah. So I'm just, keeping, I'm just keeping my gob shut at the moment. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> and then we've got tone. So obviously tone. Can that, that's another important thing. The tone no, of the tone shows what type of person you are. It not is. only that for. Not only that, but tone it's for uh, things that are urgent. Yeah. So if I was sitting here every day when you've come out of this course and I was like, oh, what to you? Yeah. Uh, like, that's not a very good. Uh, you're just going to think, what is she What is she doing? Why is she even running this course, yeah? Um, like, I, she a, I she had a few glasses of vodka before she'd come on. <laughs> <laughs> it would be red wine if it was anything. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, and then language. Why is language really important? <laughs> language is a uh, people word, understand. Yeah, and it's about, like, you, know, I think... you said language. Can I just stop you there? I mean, I'm just coming to, you know, again, it's just going back to my debt recovery job. Because I was the only agent on that department, the company actually gave me authorization to speak in Erdo or Punjabi to a customer that was in financial difficulty. But the only reason they gave me that authority because the, there was a manager on a different department that could translate everything that I've said because it was recorded. So tomorrow, if he did come back to me, so for example, if that person said, look, in Erdu, he's been swearing to me, but then they could get that translated from another manager in the same company and say, no, he didn't swear that, he would ask you for this, this and that. Yeah. yeah. And that's why they let me. So language is important too. And I think it's like, it's not using slang, is it? It's, it's using clear language. It I've, come, I've, come, I've come across Asian people out there that work in high-profile companies and department stores, but they sometimes might come across a, um, a person that doesn't know English and they're asking, and they'll turn around and say, oh, sorry, we don't understand what you're saying. But then as soon as that person walks off rudely and says something in Erdogan Pajabi, they always look back and think, and then I think, oh, you understood that all right, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. No, it's not nice, yeah. you know, just treat no. it as they come. If yeah. you don't speak language, speak it. You're right. So... I'm just conscious of time, guys. Have we got a screenshot of this? I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just checking. Amazing. Okay, we're nearly there. So, obviously, different um, equipment used to communicate. So, 
We've talked about radios. How are, what are these lights going to do? What are these going to do? Show like a runway? Yeah. Guide the plane. Guide the plane, yeah. Yeah. Direction. Direction, the arrows showing you. That's a good one. Direction, I like that one. Yeah. Signaling. Signaling. Does anyone know what this is? Is it to say the wind direction? Wind direction. Yeah, a wind sock. So it, yeah. it measures the wind speed and direction, yeah. And then we've got radars. Air uh, traffic control radar. Yeah. So, so uh, here's a question for you all. So if the wind sock's actually blowing or is actually in, in that... Uh, stance in that direction which way are the aircraft landing oh i like it yeah, away from the wind you've caught me out no, there now you actually land into wind. wind you land into wind and take off into wind oh see every day is a school day david thank you <laughs> cheers <laughs> Beth. cheers <laughs> that's champion it lands, it lands into the wind doesn't it Land into the wind, yeah. yes. Right. Yeah, and you take off into wind. Yeah. Same with the helicopters. Right. Yeah. Oh, I was right, look, because I've learnt something new there. Because when you land into wind, the wind's going to slow you down. Yeah. And when you take off into wind, the yeah. wind's actually going to give you lift. Ah, yeah, yeah, I understand that, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what and if when it's you're like... landing, you need as much to stop you as you bloody well can, I'll tell you. <laughs> What were you going to ask there, Kimberly? What if it's like if it's just like not windy? If it's no not wind windy at all. at all, it doesn't make any difference which way you take off. Yeah. So if you have a car, a calm wind situation, you can take off in either direction. How about that throttle then? Well, how, how does that work? How speed? What's that? The throttle speed of the plane or the helicopter, or whatever. You know when when you, when, you, when the plane's taking off, it it starts slowly, and then when it gets to the runway, it picks up speed. Yeah. And then as it picks up, it slows back down, doesn't it? It, it'll, it'll... When an aircraft's waiting to take off on the wrong way, the, 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 the pilot will... Take off speed is 90 miles an hour. Yeah. Okay, or whatever the equivalent is in knots, which I believe is probably about 84. So once that aircraft gets to that speed, that aircraft will actually take off. Right. Because that's the speed it needs to ascertain to take off. Once it's in the air and got to a certain height that yeah. it needs to fly at, then the pilot will then throttle down and um, fly at a height that's um, well, a height that he needs to in order to go on his flight path, on his flight plan, and also uh, save fuel. Right. So the wind happens to take off. To the... Correct. Yeah. When he's when he's up. 84 or 90 knots or whatever. The problem comes with crosswinds. Yeah, I was just going to come to that. I've seen that happening. Yeah, crosswinds. Cross crosswinds are nasty. Yeah. Because um, whichever way you're coming in uh, to an airport, if you're a pilot, with a crosswind, you actually have to um, fly. Isn't it like half two, then that's fine. That's entirely your choice. Just letting you know the the options available okay yeah does okay. anyone have any questions before we go well, on we going back on a half one then? half one yeah 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 what i'll do kimberly is i'll just make a chart i'll for i'll email it to you and if you forward it back just type in the box right is that all right yeah Did in you then, get my, oh, all right yesterday the Yesterday, I sent it last night. Yeah, it's for I don't know if I it once or twice or, or what? For yesterday's questions. Yeah. yeah, I've emailed you back this morning yeah. with feedback on them, so that was absolutely fine. Already sent something else to task, need to or it hasn't on. yet. No, I'm going to send it after this, after we leave this session. Right. Oh, okay, so can I leave now? Yeah, yeah you can leave now. I'm oh, signing off. What are you doing? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Are we all